uh, a small problem with bidders for 2018? We have one bid from 2018, uh, and that is for Santa Rosa, which I believe is, is in um, uh, California, unless it's moved accidentally. Uh, <laughs> and this bid also has a three minute presentation and five minutes for questions. So if you two would introduce your, your happy selves and grab some microphones, and I see your picture. It doesn't look at all like Boston in the winter. <laughs> I'm sure underneath there somewhere there, there would be something like this in Boston, but this is wine country in the height of the uh, grape season, which was about two months ago. So we're the Santa Rosa Wine Country bid, uh, bidding for 2018 SmogCon, November 30 to December 2, which is uh, Friday through Sunday. And our bid committee okay, is Bruce Fars, our, our bid chair, uh, myself, Bobby Armbruster, Joey Brill Dashoff, Linda Deneroff, Adrian Foster, Anne Marie Rudolph, and Patty Wells is the bid committee. So as you can see, we are very, very uh, uh, diverse and inclusive for, uh, for our committee. Our sponsor is SFSFC, which is the same sponsor for uh, Worldcon for 2018. And uh, Santa Rosa, in case you're not aware already, is a part of wine country. There are several hundred wineries uh, in the area. And uh, we'll, it'll be, uh, again, about an hour north of San Francisco on the 101. And I believe the, uh, the region that you're all, you may be familiar with is Sonoma. It is close to Sonoma. Yes, Napa, Sonoma Valley. Uh, Santa Rosa is kind of a big city in the north country. Temperature is about 60 to high, 40 low. Uh, this picture of the front entrance area of the hotel, which is the Flamingo Conference Resort, uh, has uh, a room special, uh, all you can eat Friday and Saturday nights, about 16 bucks. Uh, champagne brunch, there's about 15 restaurants within easy walking distance, about five minutes. There's a Safeway grocery in CBS right across from the hotel, across a not busy street. And we have 80 rooms block, 129 per night for the rate. Uh, and then King and Sweet rates there, pretty low, plus they do have uh, dog friendly rates also. So you can bring your pets, you can bring your furries. <laughs> We have uh, two hospitality suites reserved. Can I tell you guys to keep it down? Thanks, because people can't. Two hospitality suites reserved. We have four breakout rooms that seat about 40 to 70 people. Ballroom for the Inquisition, free parking, and free Wi-Fi throughout the hotel, including function space. Uh, we're about an hour and 15 minutes away from either Oakland or San Francisco Airport, uh, which of course has service from just about everybody in the world. Uh, there are $34 each way uh, shuttle buses with Wi-Fi, reclining seats, etc. Uh, from the hotels to nearby the convention center. And we'll have uh, stops when we come by. Thanks very much. Okay. So questions. we have five minutes for questions and we have a couple of them. Uh, and I think the big question that, uh, that needs to be addressed is how are, how are people getting to where you're at? Okay, well, to explain the slide, there's uh, several ways. We have an airport in uh, Santa Rosa, which is, uh, I refer to as the Peanuts Airport. Uh, and that's Peanuts as in W, as in Schultz. Uh, it's a small size airport, but it does have Allegiant and Alaska Airlines right now, and shortly having service from American. There will be flights from uh, LA and other places flying into Santa Rosa Airport. Uh, if you fly into uh, Oakland, etc., again, $34. Fly into the Santa Rosa Airport, taxi cab it can run up to about $30. Uh, so, of course, if you should split it, it's pretty cheap. We'll pick people up from the uh, shuttle stop. Uh, so all you have to do is uh, do a cell phone call to us and we'll come down and get you. It's about one mile from the hotel. So and just to 
just to uh, explain Bruce's Peanuts reference, the Santa Rosa Airport is the Charles M. Schultz Airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll find uh, statues about this tall holding Peanuts characters all over the uh, area around Santa Rosa. It's so, pretty neat. so given that many people are coming in internationally, Oakland's not really an option um, for most of us. What's what's the scenario for your international? As so far, yeah. Okay, or uh, you can fly into Los Angeles and transfer to a uh, plane that flies to Santa Rosa. Yeah. So you can fly not direct, but with a segmented flight to Santa Rosa via LAX. How long, if you rent a car, how long is it a drive from SFO? From SFO, about an hour and 15 minutes if uh, all the auspices are right, uh, and the traffic is good. If you have sacrificed your goat, <laughs> okay, then it's an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, sure, this is in sure. a town that's, you're telling, the, telling us this in a town that's recently sacrificed many goats. Yes, yes so, it's a, it is a standard goat. So from, from SFO, your shuttle bus, the bus does not pick up. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thirty-four inch one. How often does that run? Every two hours. It runs from about three thirty a.m. until about midnight. Every two hours. Okay. Um, the, uh, the one of the questions was how the luggage tags work. <laughs> you just go like this, and it lights up. You got to take the little paper thing out first. Yeah. There's a little paper thing at the end here. You just pull that out. For those people who are technically battery. challenged, I'm sure somebody from the bit can show you later. I would love if so you would like, like personal out. instructions, see me in the back of the room after the Inquisition. If there's swag, the we, we have a table lead swag too. That's right. This, yes. it's a, the head table, table lead swag. swag. Or, or things can get ugly. <laughs> Our excellent staff is swinging into action. Yeah, so your please, excellent staff the swag and, and the extra gifts. So I have a question also Linda. about... Linda. Excuse me. I, I have a question also for the bid about uh, uh, why do you want to do it in Santa Rosa? Is there a local fan group or is it just fun? Uh, it is... Relatively inexpensive compared to San Francisco region. It's a, a very good value location that is free parking, etc., free Wi Fi, all the amenities we want. So it's a good price. Uh, it's an opportunity to show off wine country. I have to live there and really like the area, and others in the committee are, are interested in touring, etc. And personally, live in Santa Rosa. That is the fan group. <laughs> So my other question for you is, um, what what sorts of things do you think you can do uniquely in Santa Rosa that you couldn't do elsewhere? Well, among other things, the wine tour that we plan to do on Thursday, we're going to have one or two different wine tours. In other words, a big old bus you can get on, or smaller vans to go out to some of the wineries. There's about 30 or so really gorgeous ones built like castles, etc., and about 50, 60 smaller ones. All of them give free or a relatively low price wine tasting. There's about 150 to 200 wineries in the general area. So wine tasting has something to do with it. And if you <laughs> like cartoons, the Charles M. Schultz Museum is located in Santa Rosa. So for your smock on itself, what sort of theme do you see that's happening or what do you want to explore? Conventions at the speed of light. There was one interesting uh, uh, example that was brought up, which was do you plan to stream or do something of the sort for your uh, some of the panels? And we definitely do. We've been talking to uh, at least one Worldcon about doing this for members who can't attend. That is, we stream at least one track, if not more, of the uh, site of the uh, program. That's great. Thank you very much, and we'll look forward to hearing more from you next week. Thank you.